I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to use clipping masks in Photoshop. Clipping masks is one of my favorite tools to use in Photoshop because it gives you so many options. You can add a uh, pattern to a letter, so you could make text be a pattern instead of just a solid color, or you can add a color to a pattern overlay. Um, you can add a texture, so if you had a glitter and you wanted to add that to a chevron overlay, you can do that using clipping mask. It's a really good, um, helpful and useful tool to use in Photoshop. So I'm going to give you an example of using it with text. So if we come over to the type tool and just type some text, so if I just type hello and I'm just going to make that bigger, so if I make it 120 we can actually see what we're doing. I want that to be in capital letters. So I've currently got the word hello, but if I wanted to make that, for example, with polka dots, I could come to where I have saved a polka dot pattern on my computer. And then I could left click and drag to bring it into my Photoshop template and press enter. And then if you right click and choose create clipping mask, it will now create a polka dot on my text. Because my text is white and my overlay is white, we can't actually see it. So let's change the color of our text. So it's currently on white. If we come up to this characters menu, we can click on this white um, button here and change it to any color that we want. So this would be really cool if I was doing something Christmassy. I could make it Merry Christmas and I could make it in polka dots, which would look nice. If you're using text, it's best to make sure that you use a smaller print pattern. Otherwise, you'll need to increase the size of your text. So if I press Control A to highlight all of my text and make this say 160, then we can see my polka dots a bit better. Um, if I wanted to, I could use a smaller overlay, which is what I tend to prefer to use for clipping it to text. So if I choose small polka dots overlay, which we made in one of the other video tutorials, um, if you haven't watched it yet, it's in the polka dot one. So if I just delete that layer, choose right click, create clipping mask, we can now see a bit more of the dot pattern. If you want to see more of it, press Control T, hold down Shift, left click and bring the edge in. So now we can see more dots on our letters and press Enter. And if you wanted this to be in white, just color your overlay in white first before you apply it to the text layer or the other thing that you can do is leave this in black and we can change this back to white if we wanted to. So now we've got a black um, polka dot and white text. So that's a cool one to add a bit of interest especially if you're doing a monogram. You could have a monogram all wall art with a, like the letter A and then you could clip a chevron to it. Let's um, Actually let's do that. Create a new layer, I'm just going to delete that one. So let's use the letter A, let's make it really big. Let's make it 250, no, let's make it even bigger, let's make it 500. Cool, so now I've got my letter A. I'm going to come to where I've got a chevron pattern saved. Let's use this one, which we will create in one of the other videos in the course. If you look at uh, the making multicolored video tutorial, I show you how to make a pattern with all these different colors. So just right click and choose create clipping mask. So now I've got that clipped to my letter. Let's make our letter a bit bigger so we can see more of the chevron. Let's make it 800. Cool, so that's looking pretty good. I can move it around if I want to add more light blue, um, less green, or I can click on the pattern layer, press Control T, Hold down shift, left click in one of the corners and drag it inwards if you want to see more of the pattern. So now I have a chevron letter A which looks pretty good. We can also do this with a polka dot. Love polka dots. I just selected it, left clicked and dragged to bring it into Photoshop and then press enter. I right click create clipping mask. So now I've got this nice multicolored A. So you could do this with one letter, you could do it with a bunch of letters, you could have a whole word and you could create each uh, letter as a separate layer and then clip a different pattern to each of them. 
or if you were making, say, a rainbow polka dot letter uh, word, you would make each letter. So if I just do someone's name, so Megan, so random name, oops, that's a bit big, let's go 300. It's still a little big. I'll make it 200. Cool. So if I make each letter a separate color, I'm going to stick with this rainbow color scheme. So if I locate my rainbow, left click to drag it in, I can then use the eyedropper tool, click on the pink, and I can make my letter M pink. So if I go back to the type tool, left click and drag so you just highlight that one letter, click on the color here and choose OK. So now I've got my first letter is pink. I want my next one to be orange, so I'm going to come up to the eyedropper tool. If you're not seeing that tool, just right click and select eyedropper and then click on the color. Oops, step back with. And then click on the letter to highlight it and make it orange. And let's just repeat this for the rest of the letters. So eyedropper tool, left click. Click on the text tool, left click and drag to highlight that letter. And repeat for the rest of them. Alrighty, so now I have Megan in multicolored letters, so I don't need this one anymore. So you can just leave your text like that as multicolored, or we can jazz it up a bit with a polka dot. So let's go to polka dots. I'm going to pick uh, the small polka dot and press enter to bring it in, then right click create clipping mask. So now I have a dotty letter, uh, dotty word. If I want to make my overlay white, I have another video later on in this e-course on how to make your overlays white. Uh, it looks alright with the black dots, it's up to you, so you could experiment, you could not have to, you don't have to use dots. Stripes also looks good, let's use stripes. Let's go with this one. Right click create clipping mask. If I hide the polka dot layer, I've now got stripes. If I want to see more of the strap, just press Ctrl T, hold down Shift, left click, and drag inwards. So now I've got some more stripes. So that would look really nice if my stripes were in white. So you can play around, use clipping mask to add to your not only to your patterns, which is mainly what I'll be showing you in the e-course, but also to words as well. So clipping mask is a really good tool. So to use a clipping mask, just drag in your pattern overlay or fill your canvas with the color and then just right click and at the moment it says release clipping mask. So if you want to take it off, just press right click release clipping mask. If you want to turn it on, right click and press create clipping mask. So that is how you use clipping mask in Photoshop.